Are you looking to move to Brisbane and set your kids up with a great school? Or are you an investor who's looking for school zones to buy an investment property in? Now, my name's Luke, and in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the best state schools in Brisbane. We're gonna pick out the best north side, the best south side, and the best overall state schools in Brisbane. We're also going to run through some honorable mentions and talk about catchment zones as, as well, and why investors might really like buying investment properties in great school catchment zones. If you could do me one quick favor, drop a like on this video, and let's dive into it. Why do school zones matter when it comes to being an owner occupier or an investor? Essentially, people wanna get their kids into the best schools to have the best education they can possibly afford. If you're able to get into a great school catchment, you are likely to give your kids the better education and better access to opportunities. Owner occupiers will fight over getting into these great areas to get into the right catchment zone, and they definitely wanna give their kids the best opportunities and the best education they can get. Essentially what this means is, these owner occupiers who drive the property market are willing to pay more for houses in these locations. And investors should ride off the curtails of these owner occupiers. As we know, Property is a game for owner-occupiers and it's largely an owner-occupier driven market. So investors who can jump off the back of this demand and this growth in these areas will be able to see capital appreciation over time and strong rental demand for their properties as well. It's also important to remember that school zones are just one facet of investing in a property. You also need to focus on the location, the street, the aspect, the walk score, potential road noise, street appeal, land value, value add potential on the property. There's so many factors that go into buying an investment property, but school zones is a big and an important factor for lots of people, so definitely keep that in mind. Now that we've got the groundwork out of the way, let's look at the best state school on Brisbane's north side, and this is Kelvin Grove State College. The school's located on Brisbane's inner north, only three kilometers from Brisbane CBD. It was formed in 2002 with an amalgamation of the primary school and the state school in that location to form a school from prep to year 12. And it also borders on QUT, one of Brisbane's premier universities. It's one of Brisbane's largest schools and it has a great campus on the inner north side. It's well known for its performing arts, its education, its sport and its academics as well. In particular, it has the Queensland Ballet Academy right next door to the campus and it also has the Leboit Theatre which is on the QUT campus. So it's very performing arts driven but also has some great sporting and academic results as well. Emily and I actually live just across from the QUT and the Kelvin Grove State College campus for a few years when we lived in Kelvin Grove and we really loved the area. It is quite dense in terms of being close to the CBD and properties being on slightly smaller block sizes but it has great walkability and access to public transport around the QUT campus and down the main road past the State College. The school catchment covers quite a large area. It goes as high as Newmarket, Wilston, south into Kelvin Grove and Red Hill, west towards Ashgrove, and as far south as Paddington, Milton, and Rosalie. So it covers quite a large area because it's such a large school and it's in very high demand. And these suburbs are very high in terms of Brisbane's price point. Property prices in these kind of suburbs can run anywhere from say $900,000 up to the $2 million mark. Now we've had a chat about the north side, let's dive to the south side's best state school. And this would be Mansfield State High. Now, I'd also like some honorable mentions in there for Mount Gravatt and Cavendish Road. Mansfield is a co-educational secondary school which has approximately 3,300 students. The school is well known for its academic performance and its programs including French immersion, music and information technology. Mansfield is really the premier school on Brisbane's south side and it has large open campus and up to date and quite relatively new facilities. The property price growth in Mansfield, Wishart and Upper Mount Gravatt has been almost exponential over the last few years. Properties that were selling for five hundred and fifty dollars to 600000 in late 2019 are now running up around the $1 to $1.2 million. 
Families from interstate are driving into the Mansfield State High School catchment and locals are trying to rent there or buy their own place so they can have potential access to get into the school. Academic results for Mansfield State High School students are relatively on par with Kelvin Grove State College on the north side with excellent maths and English results. If you're wearing your investor cap, you may think these areas are starting to get overpriced, but I can definitely say that owner occupiers who are wanting to send their kids to these schools are willing to pay that price to get into the school catchment. So you'll have to weigh up whether it's worth paying these higher prices to get into these school catchments for your own situation. So we've covered the north side and we've covered the south side. Now it's time to go for our top school in Brisbane, which is Brisbane State High. State High has been well known as Brisbane's top school for a number of decades and it was formed in 1921. The school again caters for around 3,300 students and it's really well known for its academic, cultural and its sporting achievements and academies. The school has quite a small catchment on Brisbane's inner south right in towards the CBD. It covers South Bank, West End, Highgate Hill and Dutton Park. And an honourable mention here is Brisbane South State Secondary College, which I think will be the rival top school in Brisbane in years to come. Essentially what's happened is the state government has seen the demand for Brisbane State High and they're looking to flood that demand into Brisbane South State Secondary College. The catchment for Brisbane South State Secondary College covers areas such as Dutton Park, Fairfield, Wollongabba and green slopes. And its idea is to take excess students from State High who might not be able to get in even if they're in the school catchment and allow those students priority to get into Brisbane South State Secondary College. Both of these high schools have ties with the University of Queensland, which is Brisbane's premier university. Access to the University of Queensland from these state high schools is just across the Green Bridge, which is located in Dutton Park. A real focus for both of these schools, but especially the new school, Brisbane South State Secondary College is STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Maths and Medicine. To be clear, BSSSC only has year seven and eight students at the moment and will have up to year 12 by 2026. Now, although there's significantly high demand in Brisbane's inner south to get into these school catchments, a lot of the students from these high schools are able to get in through selective criteria. Selective entry can be obtained by students who have exceptional academic results, excel in cultural areas, or in their own sport. Now, some honourable mentions, which I won't go into more detail on this list, include the Queensland Academy of Science, Maths and Technology, which is a highly selective school in Tawong. We've got The Gap. We also have Albany Creek. We've got Stretton. And we've got Kenmore State High. So take a look at those schools as well. Before you click away, let me show you how to access the state school catchments online. And also let me show you the overall academic rating scale for these schools as well. So if you head to Google and type in Brisbane or Queensland State School Catchments, you'll find the Queensland Ed Map. So let's take a look at that now. On the education map, you can find links to the schools by clicking on the school and it will bring a link to the school's phone number and the website address. You can see exactly what properties are within that state school, school catchment. So as we were talking about Calvin Grove State School, you can see Wilston, Newmarket, Ashgrove, Hurston, all of the suburbs that fit in that state school catchment. On the south side, we've got Brisbane State High and a little bit further south, we've got Mansfield State High School. Now be aware that a lot of the land out to the right of Mansfield State High is acreages in towards Burbank. So we're talking about two to $5 million properties, but really the key catchment and the key Suburban areas sit around that Wishart, Upper Mount Garat and Mansfield areas. In the top left corner here, you can actually switch between prep to year six, and you can also look from year seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to year 12. Now you'll notice that there's a lot more primary schools because they have a lot smaller catchments, and the focus on this video was on the state high schools. You can search for the school as well by searching in the address, or you can type in your home address to see exactly where your property fits in terms of the school catchments. The other key website that might be great for you to have a look at is the Better Education Results. This is the school's rankings in terms of percentile, and it also looks at the maths and English scores of those schools. So if you head over to Google and type in bettereducation.com.au and search for Queensland State Schools, you'll be able to find both private and public schools 
academic results and their rankings in terms of mathematics and English. Now this list here at Better Education is just a great indication of a school's academic results, but it's not a be all and end all in terms of the best schools. You need to assess a school for its education, its academics, as well as its cultural and its sporting activities as well. Whether you're a homeowner looking to get their kids into a great school, or you're an investor who wants to learn more about the Brisbane market and more about the best locations in terms of school catchments, I hope you found this video insightful. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.